first of all, yeah, what did you do? Well, I just swam from Alcatraz Island here to the beach. How long is it? Uh, it took me just over an hour. Yes. Are you serious? Did you yes. get tired? I was a little tired. I stopped a couple times and kind of enjoyed the view and kind of took a little break. I got to see the Golden Gate Bridge from out in the open water. I got to see Alcatraz from out in was the water. Was there any sharks? I didn't see any sharks. There is sharks out there, but I didn't see any. Is it? Is it? Dark? I thought you keep your hair like like that. Then... I had a hat on and it, it kept my head warm during the whole swim. See the yellow hats that they're wearing? That's what I wore on my head. Well, I remember you used to have that, but then it wasn't that. <laughs> yeah. I let my hair grow out so I wouldn't be so cold. <laughs> yeah. How much did you train? I trained for an entire week. And we went into the water a total of four, seven. This was my eighth time in the water. So we changed You've for never, seven days. But you never swam in the water before? I swam before, but never swam in the bay. I've never swam in the ocean before. So this was my first time ever swimming in the ocean. It, it's it nice. Were you, did you see the clouds above you? Yeah, I got to see everything. It was really beautiful. I, I got to see the sunrise. Did yeah, you? yeah. Ooh. But can I ask you something? Yes. Were you swimming at night? No, it was early this morning. Right when the sun was coming up is when the first person jumped off the boat. I got okay. a question. Oh. Can you wait? Let me just say. So, did I know that part of the reason that Native people did the swim was around the issue of diabetes? Mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit about that as a Native man yourself, Ohlone? Well, being a type two diabetic, it was important for me to make that plunge into being healthy. It's very difficult. I understand. You know, some of the things that we learned is that, you know, a lot of our people are, are people who are in communities where the, these resources, these healthy resources aren't available. Um, you know, a lot of us aren't financially stable enough to be able to afford health, which unfortunately in this country, you know, you have to be able to pay for your health. But what this program was actually teaching us was teaching us to take initiative on our own to bring those resources to our indigenous communities, to, to find and make make uh, you know programs and, and events and things that all promote our health and, and bringing those resources to our people and not playing the victim and not being someone who's going to sit and wait around for health to come to us but going out there and grabbing our own health and bringing it back to our community. Yes? What do you call it? Now, when you were swimming across the bay, was it pretty stressful? Was it like, was it like hard? Well, it, it was hard, it was very difficult, but I thought about, like, I thought about my daughters, I thought about, like, my health, because it's very difficult to, to really make that change to be healthy in your life. You gotta want it, and I wanted to make it across, but I also wanted my health. So I just kept going, keep, kept strong, knowing that everybody was here waiting for me. Even, uh, what do you call it, um, what was it? Have you made history by crossing the crossing here? Well, in a lot of ways, I've made my own personal history. This is probably the biggest, my biggest accomplishment to date. And, uh, you know, it's important that indigenous communities pay attention to our health and let the focus come back around to our health because the only thing that we have real control over is what we put into our bodies. And, uh, you know, so that is pre some pretty big history here that, that we're doing. Not everybody gets to make it across from Alcatraz to the beach. So we really did do something here today for sure. All right. Yeah. Want to give a big cheer to Lota? Yeah! yeah. Yes, you know what is called a, a pastor, you're an ambassador for good health. Yes. You've made a one-year commitment to go back into the community. What are some of the first things you're going to do based on what you've learned during the week? Well, one of the things that I'd really like to focus on is creating a, a young men's health warrior group in which we can get young men from, from our communities to be able to start uh, getting involved into exercising and doing a... I'd like to start with a run across the Golden Gate Bridge, a spiritual one in which we uh, pray while we run, but we also pray for our health. Can kids join? Absolutely, that's what it's going to be for. So that's one of the first things that I really want to get on, and uh, I'll be working with uh, Poor Magazine in, in getting... Uh, 
uh, health uh, circle going on where we'll be doing talking circles to bring some healthy talking back into the community and from there we'll progress into doing some some runs and some healthy healthy programs that they're already doing so yeah what was the biggest challenge for you during the week i mean it wasn't just swimming you had good nutrition you had some training you did yoga you did pilates you did, you did paddling in Sausalito, you went to farm at Del Sur, down in uh, Half Moon Bay. What was, the, what was the biggest challenge for you? Not having too much fun. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, you know, the truth is that this program gave me and equipped me with all the tools I needed to get across. And uh, from the very first moment I jumped in, I knew that I was ready. Uh, I just had to get in the, uh, get over the fear of getting into the water. And once I was in, I was hooked. And I see this is something that I'm probably going to continue to do after today. It's going into the ocean. It's something that I feel really good about. So that getting in the water was the hardest part. Once I got in, it's like I don't know if you're going to do it. Hey! 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 Hey